Hi there, today we will be calculating the output differential resistance of a BJT differential amplifier. Here I have already drawn a typical circuit of a differential amplifier. So let's get started but before I do my calculations I must mention that I am neglecting the early effect of the two transistors. That is to say I am neglecting the early effect and that implies the small r0 is equal to infinity okay now to find out the output differential resistance i must transform this circuit into a small signal model and i have here i have already drawn that small signal model i am considering the t model of the transistors and uh, to find out the output differential resistance since we since in our bjt differential amplifier we take the output differentially here we take the output differentially here so to find out the output differential resistance i am considering a voltage source here with the polarity minus plus vx and the current in this direction ix the output differential resistance of this circuit will be simply vx divided by ix now uh, you must have noticed that the uh, the input nodal voltages are considered to be zero in our small signal model and uh, we know that in the t model of the transistor i have here alpha i1 and the current i1 is in this direction and here we have alpha i2 and the current is in this direction i2 is in this direction and let's start our calculations we begin by writing down a kvl equation for i1 and if you look at I1, uh, let me call this nodal voltage as Vs. And so uh, if I write down an equation for I1, I will have I1 equal to 0 minus Vs divided by Re. Similarly, for I2, I will have I2 equal to 0 minus Vs divided by Re. If you look at these two equations and if you compare the right hand sides, you will see that I1 and I2 are equal. So let's call them both as i and since these two currents i1 and i2 will flow through the uh, through the uh, resistance of the current source the current through r capital r double e will be i1 plus i2 and since i1 and i2 are both equal we will have the current through r double e equal to 2i and so i can write down an equation for vs and vs can be uh, written as the current through r double e that is 2i times the resistance of the current source from these two uh, from these two equations we can find out the value of i1 and let us substitute the value of vs in equation 1 and i will then have i since i1 is equal to i i will have i equal to 0 minus the value of vs which is 2i r double e divided by small r e Let's bring this term to the right hand side and we have 2i r double e divided by small r e equal to 0. Uh, taking i common equal to 0. Now since I am assuming the output resistance or the resistance of the current source to be non-zero that is to say this is a non-zero quantity and the small uh, r e is also non-zero so this whole term will be equal to a non-zero number with that in mind let's divide both sides of this equation by this non-zero number 1 plus 2 r double e divided by small r e and then we will have i equal to 0 divided by this non-zero number which is simply which simply gives i equal to 0 and that would imply that the two currents i1 and i2 will be equal to 0. Since i1 and i2 are equal to 0, the independent, the dependent current sources here, this one and this one, will both be equal to 0 and that would, and that would imply that these two current sources will be open circuited. And so the resulting circuit will be something like this. Here I have my test voltage Vx, the current through this test voltage is Ix and this is the uh, collector resistance Rc 
in ground and here the rest of the circuit is absent uh, now to find out the output differential resistance and remember that the output differential resistance is actually vx divided by ix so to find the vx divided by ix uh, let us write down uh, the uh, kvl equation for this loop for the circuit you can see here and if i write down kvl i will have zero and the current through this rc is in this direction zero plus ix rc minus vx plus ix rc is equal to zero and that this will imply vx is equal to 2 ix rc and so vx over ix will be equal to 2 rc and that is our output differential resistance so we have finally calculated the output differential resistance of a bjt differential amplifier and we have find and we have found out that it is equal to 2 times the collector resistance this concludes our video